25 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. This is the Ramble. And we go until midnight tonight. You got another one in you, Larry Bubbles Brown? <laughs> another bullet. Yeah, you got another one in you? That's what I said to her. Anyway... <laughs> How you doing, Larry? Good. I was, that was my, my favorite sound uh, for some reason. Remember in movies when they'd remove a bullet from some guy in a Western and they'd drop it in the metal cup? I, oh, I, I always like that sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or uh, not even that. Like in an operating room and they pull out a bullet and they put it in the, They always have to put it in the pan, don't they? Clunk. Yeah, to make that they, a little clink. Wouldn't you think maybe they put it in a baggie and send it off to the lab? <laughs> To see if there are any fingerprints yeah. on the bullet, you know? No, they put it in a pan. Clink. Clink. <laughs> I remember the story of the guy in, uh, I think it was Houston, Texas, when I was living there, I heard about that he had a, um, he had a statue outside of his house of a brass monkey. And on this brass monkey were huge testicles. Okay, and he had, he was, I don't know, somehow scientifically they had created it so when the temperature went below 32 degrees, the testicles would dislodge themselves and fall into a pan, and everybody in the neighborhood could hear clunk. <laughs> Thereby, you know the saying, could freeze the balls off a brass monkey. Literally. Literally. So he created this statue that did that, which I thought was brilliant. I only heard about it. It may just be legend, okay? How many things do you know that are legend, Bubs, that aren't true? I think most of the stuff we hear, <laughs> always, you always hear these great stories, and they always turn out to be not true. So that's... Well, how about Richard Gere's gerbil? That had to be false, right? Well, everybody, here's what happens. Everybody knows a doctor that knew a doctor who, right? Yeah. Retrieved a gerbil from Richard Gere's ass. Now, Richard Gere, if you're listening, please don't sue me. I'm simply reporting the rumor of the time, and you know it existed too, okay? Now, that, how would that ever start? I, it, it, who knows how? Maybe it's true. Maybe that's how it starts. <laughs> no. yeah. But it's probably not true. And then he has to live with this horrible story for the rest of his life. And everybody looking at him like, that's the guy with the gerbil up his ass. Yeah. yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't think he's ever denied the story, but by denying it, he would give it credence. You know? Exactly. Uh, exactly. And so you just avoid it. Plus, he's had a good career anyway. He and, and his gerbil, and uh, they've appeared in, you know, a lot of big pictures like Pretty Gerbil. You remember Pretty Gerbil? He was in that. <laughs> and uh, uh, Days of Gerbils. I remember that picture. Beautiful picture. American Gerbil. American Gerbil. Yeah, yeah, he was in that. So he did a lot of ger he did a lot of major gerbil films in his time. Yeah. <laughs> what? What are some of the other showbiz uh, rumors that probably weren't true? Uh, let me see here. What was it? Oh, uh, well, there was there was one about um, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis uh, that she's really she's not a guy, but she was born with an overabundance of male hormones. I'd heard something along those lines, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, and I don't know if that's true. You know, I mean, if you're I, listening, Jamie, sue me, okay? Sue me. I, but I do know she was born November 22nd, 1958. How do you know that? I just remember, for some reason, because I, I thought that was always weird. On her fifth birthday, Kennedy got shot. 
So oh. I always remembered that. So you always remembered that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Your, your memory is amazing. For yeah. dates, yes. For, for, for what? For dates? For dates, yeah. But, but you Jamie don't... Lee Curtis, the daughter of Tony Curtis and Janet Lee, I Janet believe. Janet Lee, that's right. From the shower scene. Yeah, in Psycho. Yep, 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 yep. Um, but uh, um, um, I... Um, you know, let me see, what what other showbiz rumors were there? Well, the one we talked about this before, the the Fatty Arbuckle thing, which is probably totally false, right? Well, people maybe don't remember the Fatty Arbuckle situation. It happened long before I was born, or Bubbles was born, or uh, but in your city, but in San Francisco, yeah. And uh, there was only one star that was almost bigger than Charlie Chaplin or as big as Charlie Chaplin in his time, and that was F Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. And uh, he, was, he was that big? He was that big. He wow. was huge. I mean, he was also fat, so he was huge. But he was huge. And he, um, he, had, uh, uh, he had a party that he was going to have in San Francisco at the St. Francis Hotel. And uh, at this party, a woman by the name of Virginia Rappé. Now, you see, I can't remember shit, right? But this, you can't remember your doctor's name, but this <laughs> old actress. <laughs> yeah, Virginia Rappé, I remember, okay? And Virginia Rappé died at that party. Um, and they say, so what happened was they charged Fatty Arbuckle with murder. Now, there are a few facts you should know before we go on. When she died, Fatty Arbuckle wasn't even at the party. He was still coming from Los Angeles. All right? But what they said was she died of an internal hemorrhage. Um, might have been a vaginal hemorrhage or something, but an internal hemorrhage. And that uh, it was because of him raping her or whatever, and that he was responsible for her death. So they hold this trial, and during the trial, the Hearst newspapers ask a doctor, how could such a thing happen? He said, well, it could come from something like the insertion of a Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> Thus came the big rumor that Fatty Arbuckle killed this woman by shoving a Coca-Cola bottle in her <laughs> snatch. All right? All of this, of course... Completely unbased. Actually, what happened to her is she was so drunk that they put her in a uh, tub of ice to sober her up, and that caused the hemorrhage. All right? But he wasn't even there. It took three trials before he was found not guilty. There were two hung juries, and a third found him not guilty, at which point the judge said, a great injustice has been done to this man. So, so to totally exonerated. Totally exonerated. And yet, to his but death. Ruined. And after his death. I mean, I heard about the rumor when I was a kid. F Fatty Arbuckle killed this woman by sticking a Coca-Cola bottle in her vagina. Uh, and um, that was the big rumor. He never was even there. I didn't know that part that he wasn't there. So it, how, what, what prosecutor would decide to go out for him? Uh, just somebody who wanted to make a name for himself, because Fatty Arbuckle was this big star, and he came up to have this wild party at the St. Francis Hotel. Uh, and by the way, if you ask him at the St. Francis Hotel what room was it in, uh, they won't tell you. You know, uh, in fact, they probably don't even know anymore. And I think the room's been split up into several rooms. <laughs> Uh, I'd love to get the Arbuckle Suite. The Arbuckle Suite, yes. <laughs> Send up some Coca-Cola, would you please? Thank you. <laughs> Classic Coke. Yeah. But th there's the, an example of the press ruining a man's career unwarranted. Unwarranted. The man was not guilty of anything. You know? Uh, and and yet uh, he, he had to defend himself against this. So after that, uh, the studio dropped him. His studio dropped him, dropped him actually while the trials were going on. And so he went back into movies, and he did have a career. He be, had a career as a director. Uh, under, you ready for the name he used as a director? I do know the name. 
You do know the name. Tell him. Yeah. We'll be good. Yeah, yeah. We'll be good was his uh, his directing name, and he supposedly he directed. I'm trying to remember. He directed some very famous people. I mean, he was. They, he was very well liked and loved. He was a, they, people liked him, um, but they uh, they uh, uh, you know he he couldn't go back into movies again because, quite frankly, he wasn't box office any longer because of this whole thing. Which, by the way, the rumors of coke bottles and things like that were all set up by the Hearst people uh, in their newspapers. And it was pretty, pretty terrible, pretty terrible what happened to this guy. And then he died at like 36. He died at a very young age. Wow. But it, it, some people say he died of a broken heart, and I think that's a bit of an extension. I think he died of being too fucking fat. That's what I think he died of. <laughs> but if you ever want, it, you, oh, by the way, if you ever want to watch a Fatty Arbuckle film, good luck. I mean, there are some Fatty Arbuckle films that remain. But most of them were burned. You know how they were burned? Uh, there were they were on nitrate negatives, and nitrate was very explosive. If you set it on fire, it would just burst into flames and just explode. So when they wanted to do a car blowing up in a movie, they say go get some of Arbuckle's films. Really? <laughs> yeah. And they literally uh, ninety percent of his output completely destroyed. This is what I've led to believe. Now my friend Shecky might disagree with me, but I've read that almost ninety uh, percent of his output was destroyed. A lot I don't of it, think I've seen any films of him. A, no. a lot of it with Buster Keaton. Oh, if you've never seen an R, there are Arbuckles around. If you've never seen an Arbuckle comedy, especially the ones he did with uh, his protege, who was Buster Keaton. Um, you should watch me. They're very funny. They're very good. By the way, I watched a silent film the other night all the way through and discovered and f literally fell in love with the actress who was in the silent film. And her name was Marion Davies. Now, the name should ring a bell. You know who Marion Davies her, was. That's right? Hearst's girlfriend. Hearst's girlfriend. Um... She, uh, she, she did this, uh, these movies, this movie called Show People, and I watched her in it, and she was one of the best green comedians I've ever really? seen. Really? Just wow. I didn't amazing. know she was talented. Her, her, uh, it, it was um, just amazing how funny she was and how lovable she was. And, and, and she never, uh, never really did... Uh, did um, uh, films, uh, many comedy films. She did some, but not many, because she didn't, the, Hearst didn't want her to. Hearst was banking her. Hearst Cosmopolitan Pictures um, released most of her films. In fact, they released all of her films. And he didn't like her doing comedy. She felt she, he felt she should be doing drama and so on. And she was one of the best. If you watch show people, you'll see just a great screen comedian. And um, I also, as I watched her, kind of fell in love with her. I mean, I could see why William Randolph Hearst was besmitten by this woman. Now you want the... Uh, you want the uh, the real story, a really interesting story? Yeah. There's a woman by the name of Patricia Lake. She got the last name Lake uh, from, um, uh, um, what's his name? Arthur Lake, who was her, her, her husband. Arthur Lake was Dagwood in the Dagwood and Blondie movies. Yeah. And after Penny Singleton, who played Blondie in those films, see how I'm remembering these names? She replaced her. In those films, uh, Patricia Lake as Blondie. Um, she um, uh, was, uh, her real name was, uh, oh, where is it? Uh, um, Patricia Van Cleve. Okay. Now, who is this woman? You never heard of her, right? Uh, she never admitted it till her deathbed. And then she told her children. 
She was the daughter of William Randolph Hearst and Marion Davies. Wow. She had been, uh, she had, uh, Marion Davies had the kid in Europe. The, the, the kid was raised by Marion Davies' sister, I believe it was, or niece, either one, I can't remember. Uh, and they raised her, and uh, Hearst and Davies kept supplying her with endless amounts of money for her education and everything. But it was never admitted that she was their daughter until the death of Patricia Lake, who said on her deathbed, yes, I'm the daughter of William Randolph Hearst and Mary. Wow, Davis. I never knew that. Yeah. I didn't know that till I came upon this the other, the other night. And it's supposedly not rumored, supposedly pretty true. Uh, and uh, uh, not, not the most attractive woman in the world, certainly not as attractive as Marion Davies, who had a gr just a wonderful... F I mean, I fell in love with her. I just fell in love with her watching show people. Um, and, uh, uh, and then this whole story popped up about their daughter. And I never knew that William Randolph Hearst and Marion Davies had any progeny. And they used to have her come and stay at, the, at San Simeon and so on as their aunt, and, uh, as, as her aunt, okay? And she would come and stay with them and she would travel with them on vacations and things like that. But, uh, and I guess she knew at the time that she was their daughter, but was asked not to reveal it. You know, so. Uh, it, 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 they took care of her, so she was never a want for anything. And when... Um, when uh, I think when Marion Davies died, she inherited a lot of her money. So anyway, that's that's that story. That's a great story. And that's uh, not that's not, was, uh, not Marion Davies. I think was actually not a gold digger, but she actually really liked Hearst. She loved him so much. I mean, a gold digger. Uh, gold diggers don't do this when the uh, when the um, Wall Street crash came. Okay. Uh, she, uh, he went broke, lost all his money, was bankrupt. She lent him a million dollars and got him out of the hole. Really? Yeah, she gave him a million dollars. She he lost it. He lost it all. That's hard to believe. Do you know what she owned? She made. She was very good at making investments, and she made investments in real estate. She didn't make them in the stock market, which is where Hearst was invested. She made it, made it in, uh, in real estate, and one of the things she owned was Columbus Circle in New York City. She owned that? Wow. He, yes. Yeah. So she had the million bucks to give him, and she gave it to him and saved the entire Hearst uh, Corporation. So that is not a gold digger, folks. That's, that's love. That's a guy, <laughs> she truly loved him. She really adored the man. And... Adored him to his death. I mean, this, this was not uh, something that was, you know, okay, old man, you're getting sick now, I'll see you later. No, she was with him till his death. And I understand it. You know, I have a friend who was married to my friend Jack Garfine, who was 89 when he died a few weeks ago. Uh, and she's 42. And she, I never saw anybody. I hope, I hope Marjorie adores me as much as this woman adored Jack. Really? Yeah. Well, and she wasn't there for the money. There was no money. There was no money left, you know. Uh, she loved the man. And so I understand through watching her what Marion Davies felt for William Randolph Hearst. You know. Of course, there is the story. Again, this is rumor. They made a movie a few years ago about it called Cat's Meow. Uh, directed by Peter Bogdanovich. Um, the, um, the Hearst invited a bunch of people to go on a weekend cruise on his boat. So they all got on his boat, and uh, while on the boat, uh, Thomas Ince, who was a famous movie producer, um, died of unexpected causes. They rushed him to shore. They said he had a something or another, and, and then he died, and they immediately cremated the body. Story has it, he was killed by Hearst. I've heard that story, yeah. Yeah. Who mistook him for the person he really wanted to shoot, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> 
because he suspected Chaplin was having an affair with Marion. Now, he, Chaplin may have well been having an affair with Marion. He was quite a womanizer. Quite a womanizer. And, you know, I mean, maybe, you know, Hearst wasn't servicing her enough, and she needed to get it somewhere. And, you know, that might have been it. But he suspected that something was going on between Charlie Chaplin and her. And in the middle of the night, he saw her with this individual, which he thought was Charlie Chaplin, and he uh, had a gun and shot him, shot him dead. And then they covered it up. Luella Parsons was on the boat and made her career with Hearst by not revealing what went on, in fact, by reporting exactly the opposite. The guy did have either a stomach problem or a heart attack or whatever. And that's how, how Luella Parsons got her career as a gossip column. So there you go. There are some rumors for you. There's some big. Those are big Hollywood rumors. Okay. So he, so Hearst had enough money to uh, cover this up when they got back to shore. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, you know he owned most of the newspapers in the country. So the way it was reported was that this guy, unfortunately, died of a heart attack or something while on Hearst's boat. Yeah, he died of lead poisoning. Is what happened. <laughs> lead poisoning. <laughs> But, you know, the perfect example of Hearst was so big he could get away with murder. And he did. So As rich people often do. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I just, I, I think it's, um, uh, it's a great story. That and the story about their daughter, which I did not know till I read it the other night. Uh, it, was, it was a rumor, but uh, supposedly she told her, her children on her deathbed, that she was, in fact, the daughter of William Randolph Hearst and Marion Davies. But if you ever get a chance, you want to see show people. It's a silent film, and it is just the best. They showed it the other night on Turner Classic Movies. I love silent movies. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, you probably don't have an app for that. So I don't. So. No. You don't have anything. You, have you, do you have any apps at all? No. No. Nothing. Nothing. Zero Zilcho. Practically off the grid. <laughs> off the off the grid. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Off the grid. Hey, this is this would be interesting though. Do you think Hearst ever saw Citizen Kane? Uh, uh yes, I think he did. Yes. He it, it pissed him off. I'll tell you why it pissed him off. It didn't piss him off about how he was he was supposedly portrayed, but uh how Marion was portrayed. Okay, um, that makes sense. As being talentless and, uh, you know, a, a gold digger and stupid. Uh, and uh, the, the, um, the part was played by Dorothy Kamengor, or was that the name of the character? I can't remember. Anyway, here's what's interesting about that. Years later, Orson Welles said, Citizen Kane was not based on William Randolph Hearst. It was only based partially on Hearst, that it was also the amalgam of several other wealthy people. And in the case of uh, a, a girlfriend who was an opera singer and a terrible opera singer, this guy actually was in Chicago, built an opera house for the, for the woman so she could get gigs singing terribly. Okay. <laughs> So he said that part was based on somebody else entirely. And he said, so wow. far as Marion Davies is concerned, I consider her one of the funniest, most talented people to ever be in films, and I would never do that to her. So he denied implicitly that that, okay. fi that film was not ab about... It was, it, some of it was based on William Randolph Hearst, obviously. But... In, in not every aspect of it. And the part about uh, Marion being that woman in the picture, she absolutely was not meant to be that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's according, to, that's according to Wells. And this was years later, so he had no reason to deny it. Uh, uh, because, you know, the damage had been done to Citizen Kane uh, where it didn't get much play in theaters because of uh, the fact that the Hearst papers refused to take any advertising for it. You know, so 
years later he said this, and uh, he said, no, he said, I, I, I always admired her as an actress. And, uh, you know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's like, uh, like they said in Liberty Valance, if it's the difference between truth and the legend, print the legend, you know. It's the last line in uh, Liberty Valance. Hey, we've run out of time. Bubs? Well, thank you. Once again, your film knowledge is unbelievable. And that's no rumor. That's no rumor. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll be back with us. His name is Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Alex. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, and there was Larry Bubbles Brown. We love Larry. Let me turn on the Skype. I made it, just made it active so everybody can see out there if they're waiting for my light to light up. But it's active. It's now active. Let me get all my levels correct here and, and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to get, got to get the levels correct. All right. Um, so I'm just waiting for people to call, I guess, you know. So when I, a, anyway. Anyway, oh, listen, I, I just turned on my echo. I thought I would do that just to have fun. Okay, now I'm going to turn that off. Okay, let me see here. Let me see who's calling. Oh, Phil Meyer is calling. So he'll be the first one up, and he had a space last night. So uh, we'll uh, just uh, show him this, this way. Hello there, uh, Phil. How are you? Hey, good thing. Yeah. Just wait to get your left. What what'd you say? I was waiting for you to get your levels right. Am, am I slapped back? It, no, you're 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 cutting off in and out a little bit on your mm. audio. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't know why. And here comes Charlie Wallace, and I believe he had a spot last night here. I guess he did. did didn't he on the first three? Maybe not. Hmm. Well, let me see here. Let's put. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Is Charlie even there? Oh, no, Charlie's not there. Mm. Oh, there he is. Okay. And he pops into view. Yes. He should be any second. There you go. Hi, guys. There we go. Okay. There he is. See? There's, there, there he is. Turn it. Yeah, turn your audio. Somebody's got their audio up. There, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. So, anyway, how are you doing tonight, uh, Charlie? I'm doing great. A little warm. What? Who won? It's a little warmer today. Oh, it's a little it was warmer. Like 42 yesterday. <laughs> oh wow, wow. And uh, how are you tonight, uh, Phil? Hey, I'm feeling good. You know, uh, looking forward to uh, whatever conversation it's going to go on tonight. Yeah, and... who, who knows where it's going to go? Uh, nothing much happened today. You know. You don't think so? Why? What do you think? What happened today? That uh, I I don't know. I was I've just been in such a mood that I haven't been watching the news and stuff like that. I think I watched it for like a half hour and I didn't notice anything amazing happening. Uh, Bill Barr told Trump, uh, in one way or another, that his tweets are uh, uh, I making it impossible I read that. for him to do his job. Yeah, impossible for him to do his job. What job is that exactly? Uh, well, he's a hitman for the mob. Be, but, be, uh, be Trump's lawyer? What? What? What is the? And, uh, was it? Lin, uh, it wasn't Lindsey Graham. It was. Uh, who, who's the guy that looks like a turtle? Who's the uh, head of the? McConnell. 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 Yeah. McConnell said basically the same thing when asked. He says, uh, "I think it would be a good idea to uh, listen to Bill Barr." In case you're wondering where you've seen McConnell before, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say that if you ever saw those ads, it said, "If you can draw me, you can get a scholarship." <laughs> uh, that was the turtle that you had to draw. So if you just draw a picture of uh, McConnell, you would have gotten yourself a free scholarship to art school. But how could you do that? They were always on the back of a pack of matches. No, they were. Yeah. They were in comic books. Oh, but I, I didn't saw. read comic books. You know That's... something? I got to tell you. The audience doesn't know what the fuck we're talking. Excuse me. Well, there goes our. <laughs> it didn't tonight. Just bleep it. You only got one. No, I'm just... not going to bleep it. You know. You know what happens is I then request a review, and then they review it, and then they say it's okay. 
But then it's a day later than after I ran the show or anybody wants to listen to it, so it doesn't do me any good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so far, can I tell you, I checked to see. I have actually made money. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it oh, good. Uh, congratulations to me. I've made, an, I've made uh, let's see, how much was it? I, they, they tell you how much you've made so far, and uh, it was $1.27. Not bad. Yeah, I, I actually uh, watched the full Candy Crush commercial so that you would get uh, the majority oh, oh, of the money. Oh, was there a Candy Crush commercial? Yeah, right uh, at the beginning. So okay. If, well, so can I say to anybody that that is listening, because I I'm not too fond of of uh, of, of YouTube lately, because uh, every day I have to request a review. Uh, uh, don't buy Candy Crush. Well, I don't okay. think it's something you buy. I have no idea. It's a game. You know, it's, I, a game. Huh? it's a game. It's a game. It's a game. Yeah. It's a game. I, yeah. Even yeah. I know that. Well, I let the commercial run because I believe that if the commercial runs all the way to the end, you get more money I don't think than so. hit skip. I don't yeah. think so. No? No. No, uh, I don't think so. You mean I, I've been watching it all the way to the end for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you see, I don't know. You, I don't know. Huh? I have no idea. <laughs> But I mean, I, I didn't watch it I, all the way to the end. I just let it run to the end. I made a dollar twenty-seven. You know, that's because of Charlie and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, that's pretty good. Dollar twenty-seven. Uh, well, actually, if I go to one version of uh, YouTube, they have two things: uh, YouTube Studio and then Classic, and then YouTube Studio, the new one. Mm -hmm. If I go to the new one, I have a dollar twenty-seven. If I go to the old one, I only have eighty cents. They really don't have their, 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 shall I say it? They don't no, have no, their, don't, don't, yeah, they, they don't have stuff, their stuff. shiitake together. mushrooms together. That's better. Yeah. You know, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to practice not cursing because if you ever do get another radio job, which I'm, you know, I think you, you should and, and will, uh, especially when you're ready for it, uh, you don't want to be in the habit of cursing. Well, to begin with, to begin yeah. with, uh, when I did, for instance, Walter Sabo's show on, or Walter Sterling's show on... Uh, uh, the yeah, I, I called in that. The night. network. Uh, I went that whole time and I didn't curse. I mean, I somehow I uh, automatically, when I'm in a radio studio uh, and it's a broadcast organization, like I walk into CBS, I immediately know Something clicks in my brain, and I and I turn it all off. Well, know? what happens if you end up doing a show from your apartment? You know, like let's well, say that's something... a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah, and that may be the way of the future: is you get hired by some station, and uh, you just do your well, show from to your begin apartment. with. Phil, um, forget it. You know. You know what's really funny about this whole trial that we're in? What they keep saying to us is, well, you could afford an apartment for $4,200 a month. Yeah, folks, that was six years ago, okay? If I were living, if I were around today and I was still being asked to pay $4,200 rent, I think we would have been out of here a long time ago. You know, because we got to, because I was out of work and we couldn't afford that kind of rent. But at that time, we could. So hmm. don't tell me, oh, well, you know, you can afford a rent of $4,200. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, you know. So to have a rent of $4,200 and, and for it to be 50% of your uh, net income, uh, which is not an easy thing to do, you got to make uh, 10. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, you got to make 10, uh, over 10000 a month. So, you know, 120 a year, and, and you're living uh, hand yeah. to mouth. Yeah. On 10 now, if they month. suddenly want to give us this place for what is the the rent stabilized price, which could be somewhere like around two thousand dollars, yeah, that we can we can we can cut that. You know, yeah, it, we can cut you that if we have any money uh, left after the lawyers take it all. You know, well, you'd, you'd have yeah. to, two grand a month. You'd have to pay anywhere, and you wouldn't be getting much more than a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, right, right. You know. So, you know, but anyway, I, so I, I just, I, I uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I just, I give up on it all. 
you know. But uh, so, I'll, you know, we'll go ahead with it and finish it off. I talked to my lawyer today. He said, well, it'll be over, you know, when, at the end of March. He says, I don't think it's going to go beyond that. You know? Yeah. And uh, I, we're trying to come to some kind of deal on how I'm going to pay him. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, you know, but he even brought me, he said, well, you know, you could afford $4,200 a month. I said, I can't do that anymore. He says, well, how much were you making? And I told him, and I said, how much are you making now? And I said, my Social Security, you know, and a, and a pension from after him. And um, he said, oh. I think then all of a sudden I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe he's thinking to himself, ah, I better drop these guys. They don't have money anymore. <laughs> you You're know. probably right. The the guy's a nice guy and uh, has a, a good heart, and he's doing the right thing. Who? You know? Who? Uh, your attorney. Well, you know, I, you think said, he, uh, I don't think he's a bad guy. He's just a very expensive guy. That's all. You know. Yeah. They all are. They yeah. all are. You yeah. know, when I got the I mean, board, when I, if I finally, let's say I get, the money I should be, I, I would hope to get out of this, okay, because of all the grief that's been handed me. I still will not make enough money to pay back <laughs> the money I put into it. I mean, that's yeah. what's so ridiculous about this whole thing. You know? But if you're able to keep the apartment and keep it at a reasonable rate, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, well, it's, it was, a, we'll you see. Know. You know, I, uh, the way I look at it, yeah. What the hell, you know? Well, you sound more optimistic today than you did. Well, I, I told Marjorie, I said I'll spend every penny I've got in my in my uh, in my four hundred one ks in my in my Vanguard account and everything to keep this thing going. You know, I said, but then when we run out of money, we're going to sell your apartment. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because because you may have to move into it. <laughs> well, no, it's too small. Oh. What we could, you know, we could. Well, anyway. Yeah, I, you yeah. know, I, I love her for what she's done so far. And, um, uh, she says, I'm glad that you're, uh, you're, you're pitching in. She says with your money. And I said, yeah, I haven't complained about it. And she said, no, you have it. I said, she said, because now you have some skin in the game. I said, like I didn't before, Yeah, you know, yeah. It, she, she, she Marjorie is a wonderful woman. Well, she's, I love her dearly. I have the, I, 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 I don't think I tell her. It, that that much uh, but i love her i love her dearly but you know um she, the problem she has with being married to me is she doesn't exactly think we're married yeah you know it's like well you never had any skin in the game what do you mean you don't think that because i'm suffering through this thing with you i don't have skin in the game the fact that i didn't put any money i mean she borrowed all the money and she paid a lot of it back from her uh, her uh, um, home loan, her uh, whatever they call it, uh, and I appreciate that. But I, I, I have skin in the game because this thing has been eating away at me just like it's been eating away at her, you know. And I just want to see it finished, uh, so that you know maybe maybe she can retire, you know, and we can uh, do something uh, nice with our lives. What little precious few breaths we have left, you know. Well, what are you doing for tomorrow? You know what day it is. Oh, tomorrow's uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing. You know, Faye said to me, I'll take you out to dinner tomorrow. Where do you want to go? Well, I called Ruth Chris, and they were fully booked. Mm -hmm. You know, of course. of course, I didn't make any here's plans. A, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I finally, I finally, I finally convinced Marjorie of this. Yeah. She always goes, well, thanks. Valentine's Day is coming. Where shall we go? Oh, let's go to the Gotham Bar and Grill. So we go to the Bo Gotham Bar and Grill. It's a pre-fee. Uh, pre okay. Yeah. Pre Price fee. fixed. Yeah. Pre-fee. And then uh, it's uh, 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 $300 for <laughs> the two of us. And on any Whoa. other night, it comes to 150 175 but no, three hundred because it's Valentine's Day, and you, you go. Rip this is a fucking rip off. Why don't I just take you out and tell you I love you on the fifteenth? You know, <laughs> it's cheaper, <laughs> better deal. Then I can probably, if you want to, I'll spend the same amount of money and take you to an even better restaurant. You know, yep. Mooses on the fifteenth too. They're mm -hmm. cheaper. 
What? If you buy the roses on the fifteenth instead of the fourteenth, you can. It's a better deal. Uh, yeah, but they're dead. Well, <laughs> one day. Come on. Yeah, Bubble. if they don't last, you know, one day. Did, uh, did I ever tell you about the advertiser I turned down at Sirius? Oh yeah, you, you, uh, you a flower one. Yeah, what was a flower? Fl flowers are us or something? I don't know what it was, but they. Uh, yeah. To, to prove flowers, to, right. so I could see how good those flowers are and how wonderful they are. They sent everybody on the staff at Sirius who was doing live reads for them a book, you know, a bouquet of flowers, of roses. And I take them home and I say, Marjorie, look what I got, and this is for you because, I'm a, you know, this is one of our advertisers, and uh, you know, happy Valentine's Day before Valentine's Day. And she goes, oh, wonderful. I'll put these in water. She puts them in water. They're all f dead. <laughs> Every last one of them. They're wilted, and they've got, you know, it, how the edges get kind of brown. Yeah. 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 And I went to my uh, boss, and I said, I can't do an ad for these people. Their flowers came dead. They were dead on arrival. Uh, and they were always kind of mad at me about that. Uh, you know, so, um, uh, but I, I couldn't, I could just couldn't do the ads for them. What do I say? Buy these flowers. They'll come dead. You know, I'm not, you know, and, and I got to tell these people it was, what was it? Flower? What was the name of that company? I wish I could remember so you can remember not to buy flowers from them. But they're the ones that advertise everywhere like crazy. Is it like FTD or something No, it like wasn't that. FTD. FTD. I've done FTD and they were pretty good. You know, yeah. they've been good. Wow, since I was a kid, you know. But uh, uh, um, uh, these people just, i if you're going to send flowers oh, out, oh, out to people. saw somebody posted, 1-800-Flowers. 1-800-Flowers, that was it. Yeah, Charlene. Uh, oh, I've used them. It, 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 huh? They you, did pretty good. Pretty good isn't enough. You want them really good, <laughs> you know. I mean, uh, but uh, uh, if you're going to send them out to the people who are going to be doing the ads for you, at least make sure they're still alive. You know, yeah. I think they said, "Well, we got to send some to the radio station. We got any flowers dying around here that we can send, and we can't use for anything else?" <laughs> you know, for what do you a restaurant. For you, you know what I was thinking for a restaurant, hmm? uh, and I haven't been there in 30 years. The Cliff House. You know, since I can't get a reservation anywhere because I didn't do anything, you know, I didn't think about it. I haven't been to the Cliff House in years. I bet you can't get a reservation there. You don't think so? No, I bet you can't. Well, let me... Okay, yeah, call them up, call them up right now, right now here on the show, and see if you can make a reservation. I'll it would be a on, uh, Yelp. You can usually make reservations through Yelp, and they'll give you the, uh, uh, you know, the open times yeah. Cliff House. Yeah, okay, go to, go to Cliff House. Yeah, the open Cliff times, House. 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. you know? Let's see what we get here. Mm -hmm. hey, good result. steak for breakfast. Hey. Yeah. Anybody else going to call tonight? I guess not. I don't care. Just get right. the usual yeah. suspects. Chez Panisse. Now, nah, I probably can't Chez get Panisse, it. that's in New York. No, Chez Panisse is in Ch Berkeley. It's Ch Alice Waters. Oh, Chez Panisse, yeah. It's Alice Waters. I've been there. Yeah? Yeah. Trader Vic's. Now, no, wait a minute. A, now, I don't. Like, first, we got to find out if you can get a, a table. Find it on the. You can probably uh, get a table the, at Trader's Vix because nobody goes there anymore. In the last thirty years, unless you want a rum toddy or something or whatever that thing is. What Trader Vix or the poo poo platter? My my my, uh, my father used to go and get they go to Trader Vix and come back with the rum butter. Remember the rum yeah. butter, and you put yeah. it in hot water, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, and I used to like just scoop it out with my finger, and mm -hmm, you know, okay. I mean, it was just rum flavor. It wasn't rum drunk yeah. stuff. Oh uh, no, not real rum. No, <laughs> terrorist room. All right, so let's see. Uh, did they have make a reservation? Uh, -uh. uh, uh not yet. Um, let me see. Uh, mm. I'll, I'll just call them. All right, call. All right, speaker. I, uh, yeah, just call them and see if they can, you can make a reservation for tomorrow night. This is going to yes. be. Please press one. Okay. About hours of okay, I pressed one to make a reservation. 
and uh, we'll see what they do. Come on. Can you hear this? Thank you for calling Cliff Office. This is Barry. How can I help you? Hey, Barry. Uh, I'd like to make reservations for tomorrow night. Any chance? Man, I wish it were. Yeah. We are both solid. Uh, all right. Well, maybe next time. Uh, I'll yes, be a little sir. more proactive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Take care. All right. Now I got an idea. Why, why don't you try calling Trader Vicks? <laughs> <laughs> Call Trader Vicks. Uh, okay, let me try Trader Vicks. I bet Vicks. Trader Vicks will say, what time can you get here? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Trader Joe's, Trader Vicks. V- yeah, I Trader see. Vicks. Yes. Uh, Trader Vicks in Emeryville. All right. And, you know, they do have a good steak, you know. Uh, what, a Trader Vicks? See. Yeah. I'm surprised they're still open. Yeah. Uh, I used to go with a bunch of guys years ago. Here we, we used go. to go every Friday go. for lunch. Phil trying to find a place to have dinner tomorrow night. All right. Uh, this is going to be Trader Vicks. Yeah. All right. Thank you for calling Trader Vicks. This is Angie. How may I help you? Hey, Angie. Uh, I'd like to see uh, you any reservations or uh, available seating for tomorrow. I don't have any seating available until Sunday night. Oh, what about standing room? Can I stand? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to do that? Yes, we have room for that. <laughs> yes, you have standing. Okay. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. Bye bye. Well, I I don't think call McDonald's. <laughs> call McDonald's. Yeah, even McDonald's is booked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, and they probably have I'll, a what? I'll find a place. There's always those. Uh, yeah, you're not going to find a place. Them? What? We just went to the lowest rent you could go. Trader Vicks for crying out loud. Trader Vicks. It's, it's, is there still a Tad uh, Steakhouse in San yes, Francisco? There, there's one in San Francisco. Call Tad Steakhouse. I don't want to eat a Tad. <laughs> no, but try it anyway. Well, I actually installed the carpet in the hotel, the Hotel Union Square, which mm-hmm. uh, Tad's is in. Mm-hmm. And uh, I used to eat there all the time when we were doing the job. Do you know how old Tad's is? Uh, Tad's. Uh, yeah, it's old. When I was... Sears Fine Food. When I was like eight, nine years old, I'd meet my father for lunch at the Musicians Union. I'd be, mm-hmm. He'd be there, and I'd pick him up. He'd be in the bar downstairs. and oh. He would take me upstairs and next door, and it was to Tad's Steakhouse. Now, Tad's is on Ellis. And, and how, much, how much do you think a steak was at that time? Uh, six bucks. No, and in this was um, God. This got to be like about nineteen fifty. Oh, a uh, buck and a quarter. Try, I think I may be wrong in thinking this, but it was something like twenty five, thirty cents. Well, it's not that. It's not that much more now. Oh. No, and the and the <laughs> and the steak isn't much better. Actually, the steak was very good at that time. Yeah. For the cheap price. Now, they, they even had a Tad's here in uh, Times Square. I don't know if it's still open. It may still be. Did you ever go to the Sears Fine Food on uh, uh, Union Square? Uh, See, wait, like bre- Sears Fine Food? Do they sell tires there, too? Yeah, it was uh, like breakfast and stuff. Yeah. Uh, here's uh, here's Tony. Yeah, let me, let me go get Tony <laughs> into, the, into the mix here. Here we go. Hello, Tony. How are you this evening? Pretty good. I enjoyed the show last night. I was listening to it. You were listening to the last night's show. You heard me being when, depressed, and you thought you were enjoying no, the show. I like when you told Phil, when did you pass the bar exam? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I had all my partners on, on, the, uh, on the call. Yeah. Uh, oh, Epidus Brazilian Steakhouse. Now, that's in San Francisco in Hayes Valley. I like that one. It says, reserve now. I can, I can reserve through the app. Uh, today, uh, no. yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, available. Uh, well, let's see what they say about tomorrow. Tomorrow's the fourteenth. Oh, they have available four thirty. You know what I think you probably should give Faye for for for, for Valentine's Day. Uh, uh, a, a night away from me. No. <laughs> uh, head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would mean I wasn't lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 4.30 or 10 p.m.? 4.30 hmm. is like the early bird special. 4.30 or 10 p.m. So there is, a, there, is yeah. a, 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 it, there is something available. Well, this is, this is the right. Brazilian Steakhouse on Market. 
Uh, and it's a pretty good one. Let me see. There might be a better one in, uh, or not a better one. This one's really good, but mm -hmm. there might be one in uh, Concord, I think, that just opened up. Wait, where, they... is, where is Breed a Day in Kuala Lumpur? It looks like he's at, is that the <laughs> airport? So, I don't know. So you, you yeah. were, I almost went to the airport, but you were talking about reservation. It is February 14th here. It is Valentine's Day now. Already, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and this is one of the the hot places to go. Mm -hmm. It's a hot hot place, and so uh, a lot of people. Will come here. It looks to me like you got a lot of lesbians there because it's all women taking their dates out for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And you can no, this is it's during the day. It's lunchtime, Alex. It's not dinner. Oh, I see. This is where people wait before they can be served because mm -hmm. it's very. Well, show me that. Difficult. Show me the sign of that place. Go back. There was a sign for the place. I'll bet what myself. that. I bet what that. Um, um, uh, that writing says is Hadijo Hot Pot. I bet that's what it says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it says. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Could be. So you lined but up for the hot pot. The sit down or? place is over here. This is a Michelin rated the, Din Tai Fung. Din Tai Fung. Probably have the same. <laughs> it must be in New York. Mm -hmm. They must have that in New York, Alex. Din Tai Fung? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, they must. Wait a minute. Okay. It's a Michelin. It's the best Chinese. Wait a minute. Hold food. on a second. Din Tai Fung. Okay. Is that what you're? Is that what you're saying? I'll yeah. look up Din. Yeah. What is it? Din Tai Fung. Tai Fung. Din Tai. Din Fung. <laughs> well, it comes right up in New York. Yep. There's we got one. A, there yeah. here, it, it's a Taiwanese restaurant, world-renowned Taiwanese that's restaurant out. that specializes in soup dumplings. I love the soup dumplings. Oh, I like oh. the And noodles. Too, yes. Yeah. You've yeah, got to so. go. You've got to try it. To Din, Din Tai Fung. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I recommend it. Gee, I wonder how I can... Uh, I've uh, been to them in every city that they're in. Dubai, Taiwan, uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Ben and all. Yeah. Din Tai Fung. And here they are making their, um, well, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. We can see. This is a, this there is you a go. duck, a duck yeah. restaurant. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're making their, that, those are the soup dumplings, I think. Yeah. Yep. There's well, a place that Shecky huh? and I go in, uh, in, uh, in uh, a, a place we like to call Flu Shing. Uh, <laughs> uh, which which makes Quint the soup dumplings and it's very good. Oh, very good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I had egg drop night for dinner. Queen. Egg drops just wussy. Where'd I you? liked it. I had my wrist a wonton. Yeah. War wonton. Yeah. You know? I love Chinese soup. War wonton's got stuff in it. Good stuff. No, but soup wonton, they, they, soup dumplings are great. They're wonderful. You just, they just yeah, melt in your mouth. Out. A nice cold winter night, you get some Chinese soup. Yeah. So, oh, I got. Oh, you know what I have to do? I haven't. I haven't uh, gone over to his. Uh, there we go. Now we can see the stuff. I didn't have your uh, your your uh, the uh, thing up where you were on it there, Bree. So you're gonna have to go oh, back okay. and show us all those places again. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Hey, look! Look who's coming down the uh, escalator, Donald Trump. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's running again. Oh, we don't have enough computers and phones. Uh, so you miss? Uh, yeah. So Realme is the new uh, Xiaomi. Is they it? they have. This is like one of the top phones in this neck of the woods. Real me is, is the new yeah. quad, wait a minute, quad camera. What do they mean by quad camera? Yeah, four cameras. Four cameras? Why four cameras? Well, because I think the iPhone had three, so now they have to have four. Now they have four. The, and and I, uh, I guess the, the, the oh, well, I, you know, and then uh, there's the yeah. 5 Pro. Yeah, yeah. You know, I try to look up Julius Castle, and they and they don't come up. Uh, are they closed? I think they closed a long time ago, Phil. Yeah, back when you <laughs> were a child. Places I'm just pulling it up. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be at McDonald's Hello. tomorrow, Alex. No, Ju bye -bye. Julius Castle was right there uh, uh, on the road, right above where they uh, filmed Dark we... Passage with Humphrey Bogart. That beautiful oh, really? Art Deco building that's still there. 
Yeah, it was on. Is that um, Montgomery? No. Uh, the, at the end, uh, you know, it was like uh, the Filbert Steps. It was. Yeah, it's Filbert and Montgomery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's well, no, if you walk down the steps on the side of that building, you really get into a whole neighborhood that has no roads going into it. I never can figure oh, out how people get their I, furniture in there. I dated a girl that lived on those steps and was called Napier Lane. Yeah. And uh, she, had a, she had an unbelievable view of the Bay Bridge. And in those years, she was paying $150 a month for a studio. <laughs> really? But I don't know how people got furniture there. There was there were no roads to take uh, to take trucks in in there. Well, you had to carry it down. Uh, and the uh, what what this uh, what the situation was, I would park up on the street. Mm -hmm. And if you had food or something you wanted to carry down, you, you carried it down. You didn't go out very much. Well, there are there is a film. I think it's called The Parrots of Telegraph Hill. Yeah. Uh, that's about. That area right there. For some reason, I don't know how it happened. A bunch of parrots wound up there. Wow. And the whole place is infested with parrots. I never noticed. And yeah. you know, yeah. I dated her for almost a year. What what is that? What what, what is that is, is that phone any good? Bree? Uh, talk to them. Yeah, yeah, this is the uh it's the Note ten light. It's so you've heard of the Note ten. I'm using a Note four now. And if I buy this today, I can get a special edition fit, which is worth about a hundred bucks. Really? How much phone? It says th so it's almost three thousand Rinkin. It, so, it, it's a, uh, it's a two thousand two hundred. It's a Samsung, right? Two thousand three hundred. Yeah, it's Samsung. Okay, so two thousand three hundred is what? How much? It's a little over five hundred, five six hundred dollars. That's right. Dollars. Okay. It would be five hundred and eighty dollars. Isn't this an exciting show tonight, folks? You know? I must I get it? Look at me, Alex? Yes? And I get the fit with it, but I don't really wear a fit. Yeah, and, and, and who needs it when you can go out and get you? Well, I don't have mine on right now. I'm charging my watch, my Apple Watch. Look. I love my Apple Watch. It's the best. Well, I have to decide. I mean, it's should I pull the trigger? What? Why don't what you mean? Just an Apple tricky yourself. They pull the trigger. No, I mean, I'm yourself. Samsung. Don't you I'm have enough? Don't, don't you I like have... the stylus. Yeah. Don't you have enough yeah. phones already? <laughs> he buys well, phones from Russia. I do. I have a lot of phones. You're right. You're right. But I don't have yeah, the but, top of the line. But I would get an Apple uh, phone right now before uh, the coronavirus hits another plant in China. Oh. It, they've already yeah, said right. the their introductory Apple phone I used that the uh, plus the virus. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, there's uh, one that they were going to come out with that was a little less uh, money, and they said that one's already shut down, and, and the uh, uh, it'll be delayed. Uh, its launch will be delayed. Uh, yeah. Now, that Apple. is fine. Let's see here. So what? What? I, I don't see how much iPhones cost there, but they're probably the same essentially. Uh, he's yeah. looking at. I don't. Oh, iPhone Pro 11, uh, and, and uh, raise it up just a little, Bree. Uh, so uh, with the uh, 512, it's 540 a month for 12 months. So uh, 540 is uh, 200 dollars. Two. Um, no. no. Hundred and. Hundred five or something. Four hundred is a hundred dollars, and yeah. hundred and forty would be sixty dollars. Okay, so it's one hundred and sixty dollars. Wait, hundred and forty. Uh, the RM RM if like in China the money is called an RMB I believe. Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, it's a uh, hundred and sixty dollars a month for twelve months. Well, it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that's that's if you're getting it on installment, and yeah. you get zero percent interest. So, yeah, but you're paying a lot more money for the phone. <laughs> Where are you exactly? What is this uh, place here? It's a mall. It's a mall, and is anybody there? I don't know. Is anybody too many people wearing face masks and things like that? I guess they're not worried about the coronavirus. No. I told you, like she, the the woman with the balloons is wearing a face mask. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd say one out of it. I'd say like ten percent. She's but she's only wearing a face mask because she's charging too much for balloons. <laughs> yeah, that might be true. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm trying to find a place to eat lunch. I can't decide where I want to go today. Well, uh, uh, now there's Huawei. You know. Where else? You're a VIP. That's that's the company that uh, uh, supposedly. I'm a VIP at Manhattan Fish Market. Now Huawei oh. Huawei <laughs> is a very big company in in that part of the world, isn't it? Yeah, but I I wouldn't go with them because I don't know what they're what they're doing with. Uh, Google, like, are they going to have Android stuff or not? You know? Well, Huawei is the company that the United States is accused of spying on Americans. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, are there any promotions the with this? If I buy this, do I get something? Yeah, you can get the other hmm. The Canadian. Oh, the okay, right. you're doing the same. So, are you actually looking for a phone, Bree? Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I am, Alex. Don't you own? You. Don't you own enough goddamn phones? I, I, my, my flagship phone, as it were, the one I use every day that I'm using now mm -hmm. is the Galaxy Note 4. Yeah. Okay. So I'm a little bit behind the times and I've noticed that my phone is a little sluggish. And so it's time to, it's time to upgrade soon. Well, I got this, uh, I got, I got this new one, the one with all the, uh, with the, with the, all the eyes on it. It looks like it's out of, uh, um, uh, War of the Worlds. You know, uh, got three eyes on it, but but I and now there's one with four eyes. Why am I why am I you know wasting my time with this one? Hey, when I was a kid, they used to call me that. Four eyes, oh, four, yeah. Four eyes. four eyes are better than two. Yeah, four <laughs> eyes are better than two. Um, yeah, we got a lot of people watching us tonight. They love this tour of a a, a, a mall in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, I can get a plum. That's a movie theater. Do you want to see what's at the movie theater? Yeah, sure. Let's <laughs> let's go see, let's go see what's at the movie theater. Uh, oh, I like Squid oh, Boy. Uh, huh? Boy. But here's let's go here, get a squid. Yeah, here's a question. Why is it I see almost nothing but women? Aren't there any guys in hey, the Kuala don't Lumpur? Like it. <laughs> the day. Huh? It's oh. the day. They're all working, so the women can oh, go. There's some more women. I mean, it's a work day, so. The ladies are out. The guys are at the... Yeah. There's Squid Boy. What is it? Squid Boy. Squid Boy. Oh, that's fish. Yeah. What's it called? Squid Boy? Yeah. Yeah, oh. it's octopus. Oh, that's boy. It's good. Hmm. I don't know if I'll, I'll still get a signal here. We can it, check so it out. far, we're okay. What's playing at the movies? Here we go. We're going to go look at what's playing at the movies. Secret Zoo. Oh, okay. Sounds like a from the producers, uh, from, the, from, the, from the producers of Extreme Job. Oh, that's here we go. Oh, yeah. boy, boy, the boy two. two. Was there a boy one? Anybody know about the boy one? Uh, I missed spy. What's like I spy? What's this the, movie? The gentleman. Well, that that's been here. Um, uh, let me see here. What else is playing? How many screens they got? They got a, a lot. lot of them. Got a lot of them. A Look at that. Kid stuff. Yeah. Any karate movies? Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Oh, look! You can actually you can actually move that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Joker, of course, in IMAX. Oh, big screen. Seems so crazy. Yeah. IMAX. You got I, I was Midway. Nineteen seventeen on. Oh, uh, nineteen. What is this buy now? Is this a download? What? No, you buy. I'm not the ticket. To buy no, no this, is, this is this is this is buying a ticket. This is uh, a this is a big giant screen that's at the theater, and you can go through all the theater movies, and then you can hit buy if you want to go see the picture. Now, here's the thing: can yeah. you go into watch the Super Bowl at the movie theater? Oh, really? No, you cannot. You cannot, right? Right. But here, yeah, usually, you can. here, huh. you, can. here you can. Yeah. Can you movie hop there? You know, can you go into one theater, watch the film, and then go to the, go to another theater? Uh, in the same no, that movie? carries the death penalty. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I could start at ten in the morning and finish at midnight. <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought I would go see a, a, a silent film once. They were playing. Um, um, what was it? What was the one? Of, you know, the big space, the big futuristic one that was silent film. Um, Cloud hmm. Atlas? Okay. No, no, no. But anyway, I thought I would go to it because uh, in Paris because it was a silent film, right? Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have oh. to worry about the language. 
Then I forgot all the subtitles were in French. You know, all the, all the, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. So here you go. You what? can go see yeah. an Oscar film in IMAX for 10 ringgit. That's $2.50. Wow. And you can see oh. all of in, in, in IMAX. Oh, in, in IMAX. IMAX. Yeah. But, but you can only see one at a time. You have how to... much is that going to cost you in the States? Alex, how much is IMAX in New York City? Oh, oh it's about $800. <laughs> 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 That's not even worth it. $200. Man, so is like $10. $2.50? Yeah, that's a deal. And you, you saw it right there. $2.50. And do they have more than one IMAX screen at that theater? Are the films in English? They sure do. And we've got a bunch of all over the we got uh, gold class, first class. You know something, so, though? There is a thing called, like, mini IMAX. It's not the full, big IMAX you're used to here in New York where you go up to this giant screen. This it, is big. Hmm? Well, these are, are big, too, like, but they're not huge. as big as, as, the, as the other ones. Yes, uh, yes, Phil. Are the movies in English, or are they subtitled? They're they probably, will vary. Depends on which one you're going to. If yeah. it's a Malaysian film, it will be in Malaysian. It will have English and Chinese subtitles. I see. If but, you go to a Hollywood film, it'll be in English, uh -huh. and it will have. Uh, so, now, sometimes if it's really big, they will dub it. So well, you could comments. go to see. You could go see a major film in a dubbed. You know, like if you're in Thailand. Well, example, how do you, you know, as Thailand. an American who doesn't entirely understand the language of whatever language they speak in that country, uh, uh, how do you know that the theater you're going into, the film is actually going to be in English in some way, shape, or form? I don't even know that, that Netflix. That, that is, uh, well, I'm losing you. We're losing you. Where you are, Alex. Right? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Let me go to, uh, I'll go to somewhere where I get a better signal. Yeah, try um, the, try the yeah, Apple I, store. I don't always know. I, when, <laughs> when I was in Dubai, one time I went to a uh, uh, Tagalog film, Filipino, yeah. and it was all in Tagalog, and uh, I didn't know. Yeah, I, I hear that so, every time. Yeah, very. My girlfriend's talking to her sister. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. speak to Tagalog. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, they probably are talking about you. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a we're, nice tour today. Uh, uh, at least for the most this part. This is my internet company. That's my internet company. Well, you mm -hmm. think paid that bill. You're stronger internet. You know, you you think about it, it's interesting. Uh, the, you think about countries like, I say, Kuala Lumpur, and immediately people will go, oh, well, these are people like with bones in their nose running through the jungle, right? That's and I'm sorry, this is Kuala Lumpur. It actually is more modern than New York City, don't you think, Tony? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice in the mind wall. Yeah. It's more modern than... Mind wall doesn't even have a movie theater. We don't have a movie theater that looks that good. Not in the mall either, Alex. They don't have a yeah. mall that looks that good. Well, what's the Chinese holiday they have right now? It's Year of the Tet. Rat. Tet. Tet. Yeah, Tet. The Lantern Festival just ended. Yeah. So we're now sense? back to regular. Is yeah. that what that display is about? Yeah, that's the lan those are lanterns for Lantern Festival. Well, what is the official language of, Ku of Kuala Lumpur? Uh, of Malaysia. There are four. Uh, there are four. Let's see, three or four? Three official languages? Four official languages. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. four. All right. Yeah. yeah. Same as Singapore. Yeah, I noticed a couple of people walking around with, with masks on. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely a few there. Uh, I said, you know, t maybe 10, 20%. Yeah. Now, you, you, you know? think you had the coronavirus, did you tell us? I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I did not. Uh, I mean, I went to the doctors, but... Uh, he didn't. She didn't say anything. But I had all the symptoms and everything, and I was in Thailand. I was extensively in Thailand, traveling Bangkok, Pattaya, Phuket. Uh, I was on, you know, four different airplanes, numerous trains. Wait, what town? Buses. What town? What town did they say you say you were in in Thailand? <laughs> Chime. I was in three. I was in Bangkok, Pattaya. What was the What was the first one? 
Diet Coke. No, Dying you. Coke. Thank you. That's huh? right. No, you. Uh, Diet Coke. <laughs> and, and, but I, yeah. in Korean, they say Bangkok. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't put the K on the end. Yeah, there's a Phuket in uh, Phuket has got good diving. I heard. Uh, oh yeah, the there's, di there's great diving in Malaysia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Still can't decide where to eat. Yeah. Uh, life's tough, isn't it? By the way, uh, Kuala Lumpur there, isn't a there, it, there it, are, it, Kuala Lumpur sorry. isn't a copywritten country, is it? Because I don't want to get into trouble with YouTube. No. Okay. No, we uh, can uh, do pretty much anything we want here. Oh, okay, fine. Same in Dubai. Okay, good, good. Um, there are, I think someone said, within uh, a two-kilometer radius of where I'm at, yeah. there are, are almost 300 restaurants. Holy so shit. I can, and I know that there are probably about 50 bubble tea stores. <laughs> I can't even get a reservation in one tonight. You know, so. I can get any reservation, and I can go to any one of these. That well, I'm sure it's like call American Express. They always get you a guaranteed table. Uh, okay, you know, I got it's American not... Express. Here's what I'm okay, suggesting, Phil. Yeah. You know, uh, and we had it last night, and we we love it, and it's good. Popeye's chicken. I think that would probably be... <laughs> That's just, probably the only thing I'm going to be able to get. Well, Popeye's chicken, pretty much, you know, good yeah, idea. But we've got a Chick-fil-A near here. Oh, yeah. come on, Chick-fil-A. No, 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 forget it, forget it. Okay, so here you go. What, you go to Friday's. Friday's. A.E. Rinkin. Oh, man, that's expensive. Getting, that's, <laughs> yes, that is super, ex that is really expensive. That is $45. Wow! For dinner for two, dinner for two on Valentine's Day. Wow. That is outrageous. How I much? Would not pay it. How much? Especially when you get forty-five Forty-five dollars? That's yeah. a lot. Wow. Oh, like you know, who, who's she? She looks good. Well, okay. Am I being sexist when I start yeah. ogling the women in another country by? Uh... Hey, I've been doing that. <laughs> you guys stop that. Uh, uh, Charlie, keep your hands above the table. Okay? Bear, bear. Let's keep our hands above the table. <laughs> what was that? Build a bear? No, that's three bear bears. Okay. Well, anyway. I have a thing for Asian women anyway, so. Really? Uh, Does that yeah. mean racial? I, I've, never been, I, I've never been hot for Asian women. Uh, you know what I, I'm okay. hot for? I mean, this is strange. You know what I'm hot for? Yeah, pudgy brunettes. Jewish women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a short, what? It's kind of zoftig, a little zoftig. Anybody into watches? You know. Uh, is that actress that you liked, was she Jewish? Linda Blair? Oh, Linda Blair, remember? No. No, 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 no. But, but uh, 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 and, and Jewish women are really great in the sack. They really are. Uh, ask any. Well, they are until you marry them. <laughs> you know, and then something happens. I don't know what it is. I think it was just, you know, it was like the queen bee needs to attract the drones with something. And then once they're there, she kills you them. You want to make sure that a, that a woman ha stops having sex? Get her pregnant. Once she has a kid, it, it's it's all over. You're you're chopped liver. I don't know that it's all yeah. over, you know. But then again, well, I've never I've like never that. gone with a woman who who was, you know. So, you know, I have no idea. Uh, speaking but of which, while we, they're pregnant, yeah, we haven't heard from Kathleen in a while. I hope now that's when okay. uh, a lot of the celebrity cases where you hear. Where the guy cheats, or you know the the, the ones, it's usually when the woman is pregnant, yeah, uh, or they've just had, yeah, yeah just just had, or or they have a kid, you know. Yeah. I became well, why, why, why don't you kids. settle down somewhere and eat so we can get to some discussions <clears throat> here? Okay. Rather than yeah, ogle. My wife was pregnant. We, we made lunch. love about three or four times a day. She was a wild woman. Yeah, supposedly, pregnant women are really horny. Yeah. 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 But well, you know, you know something. I I don't. Know. Have, yeah, I'll you know. tell you what. Yeah, I, what I don't understand. By the way, but that wasn't a pick, folks. That was a scratch because oh, yeah, my sure. nose itches. 
<laughs> What's that thing on uh, your tip of your finger? Green tea. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> no pick. No pick. Um, uh, 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 what was I going to say about women? You know what? They always say that women always say, how wonderful it is to have children, you know? And then when I see, wi when I see women who have children, none of them look particularly happy. Hey, they you know, all look in... tired and exhausted and yeah. and wish the little brat would just go away for a while. I was know? in Disneyland uh, okay. uh, Animal Kingdom in Orlando about two years ago. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because we're associated with Disney, uh, you know, uh, we have a deal with them. And uh, so we, we, we went there as a group and uh, all I saw was screaming kids and, you know, the parents just, you know, beside themselves, nobody was having a good time, you know, but the, and the kids, they, they were, I, I can't, I can't believe I'd want to kill them. They're, they're you know, they're that unruly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and so what, what are you doing? They're paying a hundred bucks. You know, well, I don't know. I had a pretty good time at Disneyland because, uh, you know, that 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 uh, tram that takes you to It's a Small World. You go yeah. in the air and yeah. it's a tram. I got a blow job on that. Oh, yeah, that's the model. <laughs> yeah, I got a blow job on that. So uh, Disneyland was pretty good for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what they're charging now? Uh, you know what? what for, I, the blow, for the blow job? I hope it's not what <laughs> I paid for it. To Disneyland. <laughs> For adults, he had a built-in room service. I'd say it's a hundred hundred dollars. What? Almost two hundred dollars for the ticket. Really? Yeah. You know. The, yeah, yeah. To you know, get the full day pass. Is it a full day or is that three days or something like that? Uh, I thought it was the full day. Let me. Yep, thanks let me, a lot. Uh, Disneyland tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Disneyland tickets. How much does it wow. cost to go to Disneyland? Yeah. I know it's expensive. My brother's going with my niece and my sister. It's a lot. Price. Okay. We're looking okay. at. We're looking at. It might have been that I. Uh, uh, okay, Disneyland tickets purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, come on, phone. I'm using an Apple, and it's not that fast. T turn it uh, sideways, Bree. Okay. Uh, they they start. Uh, hmm. What's this? Oh, oh turn, turn it sideways the other way, Bree. It's not going landscape. Okay, hold on. My um, phone just froze up again. See, oh. this is why I need a new phone, Alex. You should have said buy. <laughs> you should have said buy that phone. Oh, so one magic mark no. is a hundred and seven. There we go. That's fine. All right. What? What would you say, Phil? It says one magic morning is one hundred and seventeen dollars. That's the theme park. That's just one morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Meet uh, with the characters and breakfast and Chef Mickey. Ma show. Magic morning. How much is a happy ending? Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, special events theme park. Come on. They don't, pr products and prices for all guests. Yeah. So children are $67 a day per child. Uh, that one it told me. Uh, yeah. um, I, don't, I don't see. Oh, show more links. It's not uh, It's not giving me the information. 67 bucks for a kid. Mm -hmm. But I, I, oh, here. Uh, Disneyland is breaking the $200 a day mark. That was a uh, Los Angeles Times story uh, two wow. days ago. It says, uh, uh a person can visit Disneyland in California. From uh, it just rose from one hundred and fifty nine dollars mm -hmm. uh, to two hundred dollars. Wow! Uh, and uh, from and from one hundred ninety nine dollars on the highest demand days. So yeah, it's it's over two hundred dollars now for uh, tickets to go to Disneyland per person per day. Wow! That is correct. Hey. Per day, jeez, per Almighty! Day. You know, usually you could buy. Three days or something like that. I wonder how much three days is. I wonder if there's a three-day pass. Five hundred bucks. You think so? Oh. Yeah. I'd say. Like Disneyland. I'd say it's only like a little bit more. Uh, more results. Oh, you might be right because they like to have people stay around because they they gotta wait in lines. Well, for instance, if you stay at a hotel, one of their hotels, you may get a break in that price. Uh, well, yeah. it's Disneyland hotel. And, uh, you know, it's uh, the nice thing about the Disneyland Hotel one. 
my family went there. I took the kids, and uh, this was a while ago. Uh, you got to get into the park an hour or two early. So you, yeah, uh, if you stay well, involved, the nice well, thing yeah. about the about the when I stayed there, at one of the Disneyland hotels was the blowjob I got from the woman I took there. <laughs> yeah, so I have a, 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 a lot of blowjobs <laughs> in Disneyland. It was like we said to each other, you know, something would be really great if you blow me, because if we're on this thing, we don't want to go back and tell people we didn't do this. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like I understand. I understand Bill Clinton because if I was president of the United States, the first thing I would do in the Oval Office is get yeah. his fuck on the desk. Okay. At Disneyland, they had different tickets: A tickets, B e tickets, and so forth. Oh yeah, well, that was the old days. The old days. And so, what ticket did you have to use for that blowjob? Uh, um, 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 a, 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 a me Alex, ticket. Anyway, no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing I, 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 that really bothers me here. You pay $200 to get into one of the theme parks, or maybe all the theme parks. You get to go into all of them those days. And then you're only going to ride on about three rides because you're waiting in lines that are so long. I got to in the line. You know? And, oh, what did you do at Disneyland? Well, I went on Ma I went Magic Mountain. Still I waited long. two hours for that. And then I went and I did uh, the railroad thing, and that was another oh, yeah. two hours. Uh, Jungle Cruise. So I did about three rides and spent $200. Yeah. No, that's just yeah. one person. And, you know, if you take a, a you family of four, shop, and then you have lunch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got to eat, too. Four. You yeah. know, that's where, what, $67? dollars for a French fries. You know, you're looking at uh, four, five, 500 and change. Yeah, I didn't for, think there was anything that was a bigger ripoff than the American court system. How many millions of mouse ears they've sold? More, yeah. more than MAGA hats. Yeah, well, <laughs> you buy the mouse ears and you don't wear them anymore. At least the MAGA hats yeah. you wear on the show. I wonder if they have MAGA hats to say they have Mickey Mouse hats with the ears that says make America great make Disneyland great again <laughs> <laughs> make it cheaper again if anything yeah, Disneyland tickets at Costco I think the first time I ever went to Disneyland this was in uh, Anaheim and it had just opened a few years earlier or maybe even that year uh, you got a book you know with all the tickets and of course the, the, oh, that's the right. you had to rip them out right yeah but one of the you always came back with a couple of tickets because you didn't want to use the cheaper ones because that got you into Got you into the bathroom is what it did, you know. But I think I only paid something like maybe seven dollars or something like that for the whole yeah. book. Yeah, I, well, when I went to Disneyland in '82, it was fifteen dollars a day. Wow. wow. Yeah, I, I went in the '70s, and I, I don't think it was much more than that. Yeah, yeah. I guess it depends on what day you go. Mm. I wonder if I could go there and still get a blowjob. Well, anyway. That's, that's uh, there, there's a ride for that. There's a ride for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. In fact, uh, I went, I, I'll tell you, I, Penn Jillette said to me, he said, uh, Alex, with well, the time I went to Disney World, okay, uh, not the time I went there and got blown, but another time when I went there with my, my girlfriend that was moving to Florida with me and we were going to stop on like about January 15th at Disney World. So and Penn Jillette said to me, you cannot get in there. He says, it takes forever to get on a ride. It's ridiculous. Well, we went there on January 15th, walked right in, got on every ride within 10 yeah. minutes. You Wheelchair? Know, it, yeah, it was that time of the year, I guess, or something like that. It was, it was a complete d delight because we went on every ride we wanted to. You know. Now, if you didn't get a blowjob that time, then that ride was... I was there in Well, I, I took my actual girlfriend with me, so I can't remember if I got a blowjob or not. And, you know, those ones aren't memorable, you know. But, no, we didn't. We, 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 but, but, and I, call, I called a pen, and I said, hey, Gillette, you know, you really, you really lied to me. I didn't have a single problem. We walked right in. Wow. Yeah. You know. I, I remember one time I took the kids and my daughter had a sprained ankle and we had a wheelchair. 
and you got right to the front of the line. Really? Well, oh, yeah, they do that. What I was going to do with a friend of mine, I, you know, I, had this, I had this friend who uh, on the show was our, was, oh, he's getting whatever he's getting. Look at that. How, how much is all of that going to cost you, Bree? 15 cents? Uh, about $4. $4. Is that real or is that plant based? That's real. That's real. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, where, what was I going to say? Um, Based. Millennium. Pendulette lied to you. Oh yeah, uh, P P Pendulette lied to me. Yeah. So, um, uh, so I mean, he, but uh, uh, I, uh, I, 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 that was good. That was a nice uh, time there. But I've tried to get Marjorie to go to Disney World with me, and she won't. She just wants nothing to do with uh, Disney World. She wants nothing to do with Vegas. I said, you got to see Vegas once in your lifetime because it's the silliest city in America. You know, it's just the stupidest piece of crap you've ever been to in your life. And Alex, I said, in the 1990s, to go. Uh, what? In the 1990s, I was uh, pretty much addicted to Nevada. Really? I can't. Oh, I went all over. From what Reno. about Nevada were you addicted to? I mean, I worked in Nevada, and I, you know, I can get out of there I fast enough. I loved at the time. I read all about it. There's a lot of literature. Well, you, well, you know what happened? I, I would go to Vegas for these conventions. He's still trying to get, make a, get, get reservations. I, I go to Vegas for these conventions uh, because I was part of, like, playing corporate and we went down there and they had a booth and they were showing their stuff and we were doing our live shows from there and so on and we would have to spend five days there two days max after the second day you're ready to climb the goddamn walls okay because it's just it's boring there's nothing left to do you don't you don't go there to gamble that's ridiculous if you're going there to gamble under those I definitely conditions. did. I'm telling you, I just, it was, after two days, Vegas is fun for for two days. And then it's time to go. No. No. Yeah. Vegas is fun for several days if you have several thousand in your pocket. Yes. Yeah. But what if you leave without a several thousand in your pocket? Then you're not leaving and it ain't fun. <laughs> <laughs> The old joke was, you know, how to, you know how to win in Vegas, don't you? When you Stay get off the plane, walk into the propeller. Yeah, I, I, I am a big gambler when it comes to, uh, you know, Reno and Vegas and uh, Tahoe. Uh, mm -hmm. I go in, I put a quarter in the slot machine. Mm -hmm. I put the thing. If I win, I walk out. If I lose, I walk out. I, one, one thing. That's it. I you know I don't you know, I, I did that once in in New Orleans yeah at Harrow's yeah. I walked into the roulette table I only I, I only walked bill. I only walked out of Tahoe once ahead of the game and I was ahead a couple of thousand dollars by just playing slot machines wow. what I did was I won uh, two thousand dollars on like a quarter slot machine or a dollar slot machine. So I figured it was like twenty five hundred. So I said, "Give me five hundred dollars in five dollar coins," and I went into the five dollar machines and I made another thousand. Wow! I never win. No. So I I've learned, and I don't like the feeling when you lose. You know, and and the most I've ever lost is maybe five well, or six hundred. Th that's bucks, why but... you're not truly a gambler, because yeah. a, a gambler feels just as good when he loses as when he wins. You know? Yeah, no, I, I feel I feel like I'm stupid, and I've done. You know, I, it's really stupid. Yeah. Uh, For sure. You know, we have incredibly high numbers tonight, and I think that's because we're not talking anything about politics. Yeah, this is like so? a politics-free zone. No, folks, we're not going to start now. Just stay where you are. We're going to eat noodles, <laughs> and we're going to talk about gambling. It's a long time ago that the trend was going to be for a Trump-free zone. Well, it may, it may be the new format, I'll tell you. Yeah. I, I don't know about you. I'm sick of hearing it, you know. Huh? What? what? Hearing it. I, I wish that he'd stop tweeting. Uh, okay, let's not even get into that. Uh, all right. You know.
Jimmy Carter moment. <laughs> Jimmy Carter moment. Jimmy Carter, I didn't realize this, oldest living president in the history of the United States. Yep. Of the country, yep. Wow. He, he broke the record. Yeah, how old is he now? 92, something like that? 93? I thought he was older than that. But I'm just 94, kidding. 94. 94 or 96, something like that. Yeah. Well, let me look it up here. I'll just, I'll just, every, everything you want, ever wanted to know about anybody is, is here on the, on the, on the thing. I mean, uh, he was president in 1976. 19, I mean, to 1980. That's right, the bicentennial year. Jimmy Carter is, yes. is, is 95 years old. Wow. 95. Yeah. He yeah. is, I think he... I remember, that, he had a health scare yeah. several... Uh, every, oh, yeah. every, every hour he has a health Everybody scare. Thought. <laughs> yeah. Everybody thought that was going to be Check it. Him. No, but uh, <laughs> even if he dies tomorrow, he's going to be the oldest living president in the history of... Um, yeah. Uh, of, look, some Muslims are going by. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and good luck. Ali Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, um, but uh, yeah, he's he's really old. He's really old. Uh, Plain and living. Second oldest is yep. Bernie Sanders. So anyway, <laughs> he hasn't won yet. God, and, and if Democrats have their way, he won't. This, no, this, this has nothing to do with politics. But do you think we could really get some younger people running for president? I mean, it it looks like an old codger club, you know, except for Pete Buttigieg. Yeah. Uh, you know, but I mean, I just, I just, I, you know, and I'm old. I'm 80. I should sit here and say, oh, it's good that there are older people running for office. But I know how I feel at 80. And I don't want you voting for me for president. I'm sorry. I I mean I I don't think it'd be like uh, uh, Alex. Uh, uh, we're gonna have a meeting with the prime minister of Thailand. What time is that? Noon. I think I'm gonna need a nap then. You know. Well, I, I can tell just in the last five years there's been a difference in my cognitive ability. You know, I, I search for words. I, I can't remember stuff. Yeah. 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 I can't remember where my dick is, you know. I mean, it's it's, and neither can it. So, I lose weight, know. I'll be able to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, with all that they're doing with me, you know, they they, it's like I feel the world is out to get my uh, my uh, my sexuality, you know. Uh, they're punching holes yeah. in it with biopsies. They're mm -hmm. then um, um, uh, 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 radiating it with beams. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still, I'm still okay. I'm still all right on a lot of levels, you know, I mean, you know, but next comes the big one, the seeds and the seeds are going to cause a bit of a problem. You know, I'm going to have a harder time peeing and things like that for a couple of days at least. And then, uh, uh you know, I mean, but it, 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 it's just like, everybody's trying to get my prostate. They're turning it into a goddamn pin cushion. Can you continue the Cialis during this process? I uh, think so, yeah. In fact, uh, in order that, I, th I think so, I don't have to have a catheter in me. Uh, I think yeah. they give me like Flomax and things like that, and that softens it up and, and so forth. But you Flomax know. doesn't do much for your sex life either. No, but, you know, I mean, I've, I've kind of, you know what I've done? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm 80. I had a lot of good years with that. Okay, so if I'm at this point in my life, I I, I don't have good years uh, sexually. Okay. Uh, I had them, you know. I had a lot. I have a lot of great memories. Uh, look, they have uh, they have uh, uh, masks. Yep. On, see, um, so I you know I am not, I'm not, I don't re, I don't re, I don't resent it. You know who resents it is Marjorie. You know. Yeah. Um, but uh, by the way, well, wasn't that a great wasn't that a great speech the other night Olivia Coleman gave? She said, "I want to thank you last year for giving me the Oscar because that was the greatest night of my husband's life." <laughs> <laughs> that that girl with the backpack has nice legs. Is she uh, old enough? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Listen, here we are. We're being utterly sexist. This would be the Me Too movement right now. If they listen to this show, would probably be boycotting it, which would give me five more listeners than I've got right now. So, you know. uh, 
You know, three. If we can get three more people, we'll we'll hit forty tonight. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't like a school girl or something. But yeah, she has a baby carriage with a with a child. Yeah, yeah. But, I'm uh, telling you, Alex. If I if I made this into ten minutes, with a little bit of rolling commentary, yeah. I'd have ten thousand hits. Guarantee you. Do you think so? Yeah. No, I know so. Well, I one time I actually uh, uh, put uh, it was raining. And then oh, it snowed, and then it stopped snowing, and I took a shot out my window in my office in the uh, guest room, and which is Studio B we call it, uh, the guest room, and uh, I I actually ran a video constantly for a couple of hours of snow melting, and I got like a thousand views. Mm. Just well, in the early days of radio, they stuck the mics out. Ladies and gentlemen, the sounds of New York City. Yeah. Hey, uh, with a, a thousand thirty uh, subscribers, just think of how many views you'd get if uh, if you yeah. melted snow today. But I can't because of climate change. There's no. Snow. I would probably stick the camera out the window, show the snow melting. Or maybe we would even do paint dry. That could be another thing we could do. Really slow <laughs> video, okay? Paint drying, snow melting, whatever. And and YouTube would then say, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, it, we, this is not proper for all advertisers. <laughs> Jimmy Carter moment. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, so... Yeah. You know, we, we only got an, another couple of minutes here, and this will have really been a Trump-free evening. Yeah. And, and one of the more pleasant shows I've done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I talked to my well, lawyer... See, I, 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 talk, I, talk, I talked to my lawyer today, and the last thing you want to ever do is talk to your lawyer. And, and, and number one, because it's costing you money. Okay. But worse than that, they never are... What can we call it? They never give you hope because they never want to say anything that will get them sued. Yeah. So when you say, well, what do you think our chances are of winning this thing? He'll go, well, I, I think they're good, but I can't give you a percentage because no lawyer exactly should. Right. Yeah. So I'm not getting... I'm, I'm just learning this now. What? Just learning this now. I mean, when I was uh, 22, I had to hire a lawyer. Yeah. And I told him, here's the budget. For the week, I said, if you go above that, call me. Yeah, yeah. And he called you the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Are you no, there, Ray? Well, I'm here. Well, show us a picture, Ray. Yeah, yeah good. sorry, okay. I got it on. There we go. Okay, uh, uh, let me see here. Sorry to call so late, but I missed you guys so much. <laughs> you are Ray, 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 Pa. I don't know. I don't know what a calendar it is. You don't know what you are anymore. There, I don't there, know there's, anything there's anymore. Ray. Ray is in his home in, uh, where are you again? Burlingame? Palo Alto. Palo Alto. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we have Bree, of course. He's in uh, Kuala Lumpur having lunch. That's why, you know, I was going to say, that can't be the United States because there are nothing but Asian people there. Look at those uh, girls. They're gorgeous. I know. I'll tell you. I, the move. I have to yeah, say this. I have to say this. And uh, that... Those are some pretty hot women, for the most part. Yeah. To begin with, absolutely. A, am I right about this? Uh, uh, this uh, one with the Ray, baby carriage. Uh, the, I like the legs. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay healthy and happy. Bree, am I correct <laughs> about this, or am I wrong about this? But I have yet to see a fat Kuala Lumpur no. woman. There was so many restaurants. You <laughs> just won't see it. Yeah. Uh, are they are they oh usually that that uh, non fat? Oh, ninety eight percent. Really, and it's not like they're yeah. on a diet or anything, so it must be the kind of food they're eating. <clears throat> yeah. Crazy. Hey, when I first met Faye, I could actually put my hands around her waist and touch my fingers. That's how tiny she was. Now, it, it, no way. <laughs> You know, well, but but you know what it is. I'm I'm make, gonna be, I'm gonna say this. I think um, um, that it has to do with the kind of food that there is in a country. And and I, I think, think you're right. Uh, yeah, and that some foods are. Um, uh, uh, who was it? I was talking to. I'm trying to remember uh, 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 a famous uh, a famous uh, food guy. Oh, uh, Atkins. 
right? Yeah. When Bob he was Atkins. alive, Bob Atkins Heart used to attack. come, used to do my show at the uh, at uh, WMCA, and I said to Bob, I said, I don't know what it is, but every time I go to Europe, I eat like a pig. WMCA and, that was a long time ago. I think Bob Atkins was popular in the eighties. I knew him before he wrote the book. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I used to have him on just because he would talk about stuff. Okay. Anyway, Bob, I said. Bob, I don't understand it. I said I go to I go to Europe. I eat like a pig. I come back. I'm ten pounds lighter. He said it has something to do with the way the food is grown in a particular country, as to whether it's fattening or not. There are some countries where people eat just as much as you eat, and they don't get fat. And the other countries where they do, you come back to the United States. The first thing you notice when you get off the plane is how fat everybody is. I went to Italy, and, I, and somebody told me if you eat pasta fagioli, that, you'll, uh, that it's protein and you'll lose weight. So in Italy, everybody else is having unbelievable meals. I'm having pasta fagioli. I get back to the same. It's pasta fagioli. Whatever. Pasta fagioli. Yeah. There's some noise going on. i got to tell you something. Yeah. Bree. What, Bree? But I can't tell you right now. <laughs> Oh. Let me get the check. Oh, you have Can to get I the check? Well, you found something. Why are you saying? Naked woman you're telling saying. me you have to vomit? I, I will tell you, Rob. What? If I were younger, yeah. I would be. You'd be having such uh, a. Okay, let me get this. If it, there, is a, uh, <laughs> there is a lady who came in all by herself. Uh, that wasn't she. On, on Valentine's Day. socks off. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't the uh, lady that was seating the people, right? Uh, at the uh, no, at the... no, no, no. Okay, she wasn't bad either. No, I think I think I I, I, I think uh, Bree, uh, you're living in a country where I would have a very hard time maintaining my marriage. Hey, this uh, is a, a Michelin star. Uh, and I'm not I'm not big on, I'm not big on I'm not big on, I'm not big on Asian women, but they all look hot there. Yeah, yeah, Alex, the quote is the following. Well, I have lots of quotes, but one is, all lust is grief. Yeah. All that lust yeah. is what? Lust. Is free. All lust is free. Is, he said. Grief. Yeah. All lust. Oh, it's grief. Oh, I see. Okay. It leads to that. Oh. Especially if you marry him. You know what I'm buying myself tomorrow is another light for over here. <laughs> but, but it's going to be a bigger light than this one, so... Why, uh, why don't you go down to Adorama and That's where I'm some... going. That's where I'm going because they have them in stock. The bill. And I want to pay cash for it. <laughs> yeah. 2760. So that's what? Uh, six bucks? Seven bucks? Uh, four times Close seven. To seven. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Seven bucks. Uh, total after rounding. So they round it up? Yeah. They rounded it down. Oh, really? Oh. So how much is that? About seven bucks? Yeah. And it Did looked pretty good. Yeah. I thought the sushi maras was seventeen eighty, so I must have gotten I must have gotten that wrong. So oh, let, let me I'll ask you: check. You have an apartment in Kuala Lumpur? Yes, a house. I have a house. House. How many rooms again? House. How many uh, rooms? Five bedrooms. What? Five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. Yeah, and you said you had like four and a half bathrooms, and you had uh, uh, I don't know whatever. And how much rent did you say? Yesterday. What did you say you were paying for rent a month? Yesterday. Two maids, they come to clean the place. Okay, no. but how much does the rent? He said 800 a month last night. That's right. I'm moving to Kuala Lumpur. I mean, that's yeah. just, you know. And he's got two maids. Do they cook? No, no, they just clean. No, they just clean. Yeah. What? What is... Um, but, <clears throat> Alex, you know, yeah, you, you're always trying to get it done. And I say, you know... I'm worth every penny, first of all. Yeah. Uh, second of all, me free. Well, at least six pennies. Oh, who's doing that? That's cool. No, that's not cool. No, that's, not that's, cool. Ray. Oh, that's Ray. That's Ray showing us some Kuala Lumpur women. <laughs> <laughs> are those are those the uh, the gals when you go into the bar and they, uh, they line them up and say, you know, which one? No, no, no. She's obviously selling Fords. I'll buy that car. Um, <laughs> you don't even have a parking space. <laughs> what? Who is showing those uh, videos? What is that? Okay, enough <laughs> of that, Ray. Don't, you know we got enough problems. Ray, what are you? I have enough Ray, problems with my you, with my sorry, with sorry. my prostate being used as a punching Something bag. And Ray is uh, 
Ray is now a little, he's got something going on there. Yeah, I stopped. I stopped. monetized this way. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just saw a woman from behind there. They're gorgeous. <laughs> they just look at her. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys are terrible. What do you call a stunning woman in Kuala Lumpur? Uh, a, a regular gal. Uh, 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 you call a stu- you call a stunning woman in Kuala Lumpur a dog. You know, I mean, it's amazing. It's it, 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 even the ones who are just talk to that guy. Huh? Now, women are thin, and the size of the guy that just passed. Yeah. Guy, you know, <laughs> he made me look thin. Yeah. Well, I don't know about almost. Oh, this is skinny <laughs> with the mask. Wow. They, they, they oh. go, you know. Um, <laughs> But I met him. Look at everyone's skinny there. Yeah, everyone's skinny. Yeah. Except well, for the guys. The guys are fat. You know why? They got the virus. That's why. They're probably gonna lose weight. They don't know. Or if if they are if they if they aren't if they aren't fat if they aren't the the guys aren't fat, but if they are aren't if they are fat if they aren't fat, their name is. So Stalker. Gong Hay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there go some guys. They're they're skinny. Most of the guys are thin too. Yeah, Look they at. are. Uh, those those are the yeah. first ones. Uh, the other ones that I've been seeing are uh, have been heavy. Yeah. In school, we used to say, "What do you call a fat Chinese kid? A chunk." <laughs> Guy Morris, Morris writes, "Hey Alex, Howard Stern mentioned you on his show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he was saying that Uh-oh. I was. I oh was, yeah, he did. I, I was I was better than Don Imus or something." No, he said that, uh, oh, yeah, he was saying he listened to you guys on MCA, the good guys. Oh, really? He mentioned you first and a couple of the other guys. Yeah. I heard him. The- no, but he, yeah. but he said about Don Imus that he had no talent. Yeah. You, you know, like that, yeah. if you want to go to somebody with, with uh, who, who does is a good talk show, host, Alex Bennett's a good example. And then he named some other people, too. Yeah. But he uh, named me first. Okay. He, named he did me name first. me first, yeah. Yeah. Wow. He was racist, too, to a lesser extent. What? I don't know. I think he called him as racist. Well, I he was. Well, he, he is was. racist, he isn't he? he? Don't you remember that comment he made about... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, you know, you can fly from San Francisco to Kuala Lumpur for about 700 bucks. Right? Round trip. Round trip. Round trip. Yeah. Paris and London right now, you can go for like 198 Well, I'm, I'm I may get on a plane immediately and go because uh, I know somebody who's got a place there. You got some empty rooms. Empty <laughs> rooms, yeah. I'm going to go cruise that mall. Yeah. <laughs> Best place. <laughs> yeah. I just have to find out when his, uh, his uh, uh, you know, his father, mother-in-law and father-in-law are coming to visit, you know. <laughs> They already left. Then we'll all go down to the mall. I'll have some of that food, and I'll gain weight. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Ray, Ray's down by the Stanford. I am. Um, yeah. I, and I bet you all those milfs are pretty hot there, too. Do they have single pay? Yeah, you go to the mall there. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I was, yeah. I was going to go down to the You can Singapore sure tell. You can this sure. Weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, I've, got, I've got a bank there. I have a, uh, my bank, and... My, I changed my phone. My Dubai phone went out, mm-hmm. and the the little token generator I used, the battery died, so I can't log in. You know, online. Yeah. So, Bree, do you ever so work? Talking. All you do is yeah. eat. <laughs> He's he always it's lunchtime when he calls in. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's because boss. it's my lunch hours, my two hours. Two hour two lunch. Two hours. Yeah. He's I'm in the wrong country. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Downtown Kuala Lumpur. Anybody who felt that Kuala Lumpur was some kind of backwater in the world, guess again. I am out of here. Now, it's now what, 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 what's the city you're in? Is the city Kuala Lumpur or is that the country? The country, uh, the, the country is Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah, the city. Yeah. Is the city. Kuala yeah, Kuala Lumpur. Another is, uh, wow. wow. You know. Damn. What's this? Experience what? Uh, hey, uh, I, my social security has been just as much there as it does here. What did you say, Charlie? <laughs> I said my social security will spend just as well there as it does here. I well, think they don't tax it there. Y- yeah. You know, I mean, and let's face it. I mean, Bree has a whole house 
with five rooms. You could probably find a place that was nice that had a couple of rooms and, and pay a lot less. Right, Bree? Oh, yeah. Go to the Bree Airbnb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you. It's, yeah, okay. we how just. You, I, do you, you know how many pay? people are watching this? And we've talked oh, wow. about wow. nothing tonight. Yeah. Look at that amount of people. Forty. Forty-two. Yeah. Wow. That is, I think, the highest it's been. Well, if I. And, if I and nobody has written years. anything that I'm an asshole. Let, let me tell you, <laughs> yeah. if I would have followed yeah. the gal who was on the escalator, we, you would have been up to 142. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. Find, find us <laughs> a good hot a, woman to follow. You Is have it, five minutes. Go find one. Body well, you know, this show, to, this, show, uh, this show tonight is the nightmare of the Me Too movement. <laughs> you know, this no. is the Harvey Weinstein of podcasts. You know, what? We're, they don't even know we're doing it. Come see on. See if they monetize this one, huh? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I want to see if they off. if they say you're in trouble for this one because you said uh, something. You know, and I I think I said one dirty word tonight. You said the f word. Yeah. Did I say the f word? Yeah, you did. Oh, can you say f word? I remember, I, I, I remember yeah. you said the s word. S word. Yeah, I said I did. I say the s word or did I say s word? Mm, you, I know you said the F word for real, but... Uh, yeah, you yeah. did. Because I was listening when I was walking. It was, so it was mixed. There were several voices at the same time, so I don't think they could yeah. tell that. Yeah. And, you know, my, my camera is through the flip cover. You're not actually getting the direct cover, uh, the direct camera. It's, uh, yeah. Well, there's my look, favorite. I see. Cake. Like wow. key lime pie. Well, okay. Well, t uh, next time you it call... the actual camera. Let's, next time you call, don't uh, don't take us on a tour anywhere because I can't do this show okay. and get and uh, and with with, with with a hard on. It's I'll very wait, difficult. instead of where I actually am having my lunch. Instead yeah. of okay. getting the phone, why don't you just get? Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. What did you just pass? Oh, <laughs> what did you just turn around? Turn turn that camera around. <laughs> you, you are, you, he's a dog. Whoa. Whoa. Oh wow! Oh, with oh, she got a mask on. Ask her to take her mask off. Yeah. 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 What happened next? I'm afraid of the virus. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah. yeah. Don't say that's John. not serious. Hey, you can open up a mask shop and make some money. Instead of getting another phone, get one of those Steadicam things that you can walk around with, and it's uh, it's a little smoother. Uh, well, if he get if he were to get himself a uh, uh, an, an iPhone 11, the, oh, the, the picture it. the picture is so steady it's ridiculous. You know. Wow. Uh, anyway, that's okay. Hey, listen, thank you, Bree. We really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you, next you, time I'll, I'll be at lunch. I'll make sure I'm se seated. Uh, yeah, but we were, we're at, uh, we we hit a lot of people uh, tonight. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's uh, that's good. How many how many are listening to it? I bet nobody's listening to it, right? Uh, uh, YouTube is uh, 43. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, YouTube is now 40 at 43. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is. Oh my God. I I'm I, uh, I'm having a heart attack. Trump and, free zone. Told you. Yeah, Trump Free Zone works. Anyway, listen, uh, 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 first of all, uh, thank you very much, uh, Tony, and thank you very much to Bree for the wonderful tour of uh, Malaysian women. And uh, uh, Charlie, thank you, and I'm sure you want to thank Bree too because you seem to have enjoyed yes, it. Sir. Ray, good seeing yep. you again. And of course, uh, Phil, terrific seeing you as well. Uh, what I think you all should do is probably. Give a big wave goodbye, okay? And I'll wave back at you. Okay, there we go. That's our citizen panel for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, live from Kuala Lumpur and from uh, Palo Alto, California. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the ramble. And uh, I'm uh, hanging up on all these fine people. Hopefully they will call the next show, which will use the same phones. Uh, his name is uh, Jack Bishop, and it's called The Intersection. I'll see you again tomorrow night at uh, 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.